hey guys and welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this logitech logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of adobe illustrator and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my udemy courses all links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Now I have this Logitech logo file over here. And if you want this project files, you can download this project files from Patreon. I'll give you the link in the description. Now first thing first that we need each and every alphabet properly on a separated layer. So first thing first I'll select this. I'll go inside this options and as you guys can see in layer 1 all of them are in the path format. So select this layer 1 and click on this circular icon which is click to target. Then go over here and choose release to layer sequence. After clicking that each and every uh, path is now properly on a separated layer so by holding shift select all of them and simply drag and drop downwards and we will delete this extra layer because we don't need that and let's save this file okay i will press ctrl shift s and let's save this as new logo and hit ok okay now let's go to the adobe after effects and let's create a new composition i'm going to call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 and background color i am going to choose white color and i'll simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title save action then i'm going to press ctrl i and i'll select my illustrator logo file import as instead of footage i'm going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and simply drag and drop this logo over here now let's go inside this and press ctrl k to open the project settings and now as you guys can see the background is uh, black so let's change the background first okay similarly width i'm going to choose 1920 and height i'm going to choose 180 and simply hit ok like that now let's select all of them simply right click create shape from vector layer and let's bring this at the top now let's select all of these extra layers and let's hide this now let's select all of this and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top like that and let's change the color of this one to yellow so it would be easy for us to understand that these are different layers and i'm going to click on this icon so they will show only this layer now i'll try to add a stroke over here which is like that but as you guys can see we cannot add stroke like this so instead of that what i'm gonna do i'll go inside this i'll go to the add and i'm going to choose stroke i'll select this stroke and i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll select all of them and i'll hit ctrl v to paste it so now it, inside each and every one i'm gonna get that stroke okay now hit u select all of them and this time i'm going to choose stroke black and i'm going to delete this fill so as you guys can see now we have stroke for each and every one now what we can do let's uh, select all the yellow layers and uh, we will hide them just for now now let's select any one of them for example this i'm gonna go over here go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end value zero and create one keyframe go to somewhere around 1.10 frame and let's make this value 100 so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation now let's select this and we will hit f9 now i'm going to copy this trim path by hitting ctrl c i'm going to select all of them and i'll hit ctrl v so now if you see we are getting this kind of animation now similarly i'm going to select all of them and i'll hit ctrl v so i'll get this stroke animation over here as well so let's select all of these layers and let's hide this and now if you see we are getting this kind of animation okay over here now i need uh, animation should be one by one and i need their distance should be of five frames so i'll select this layer and move this over here 
move this over here with the help of open square bracket i'm going to each select each and every layer and i'll move this over here like that okay so if you see this now we are gonna get this kind of animation okay now at five frames i'm going to select this one and let's move this over here again i'll move this over here this over here and we will adjust them in the same way let's select all of them and let's enable those layers so if you see this now we are getting this kind of reveal now if you want then you can move them up to let's say 15 frame as well like this so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of reveal now let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as logo reveal now let's go to the main animation and press ctrl y to create one black solid background and bring this downwards i'm going to select this new logo i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for fill effect and double click to apply and i'm going to choose white color for this okay so if you see this now we are getting this kind of simple logo reveal now let's try to add something a little bit different over here i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d around five times select this one and let's choose red color select this fourth one let's choose blue color select this third one let's choose green color like that select this one and let's choose black color and again i'm going to take a distance of five five frames and let's try to adjust this over here so if i see this now we are getting this kind of effect okay now i need another two patterns so first of all let's hit ctrl n and i'm going to call it as lines and this time i'm going to press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's lock this and i'm going to select my pen tool and from here to here i'm going to add one white color and let's choose stroke to pixels let's select this shape layer press ctrl alt home go to the add menu and we are going to choose repeater go to the repeater one transform repeater one and position should be over here okay like that okay let's make this 15 and now let's increase the number of copies to somewhere around like this now uh, hit ctrl n again and to create another composition and this time i'm going to call it as circles and again press ctrl y to create one solid background and lock this and this time i'm going to choose ellipse and fill i'm going to choose white color and let's delete this stroke we don't need that stroke and by holding shift i'm going to create one small ellipse select this and press ctrl alt home go to the add menu and we are going to choose repeater go to the repeater transform repeater one and let's decrease the distance between this over here and let's increase the number of copies to somewhere around like this then select this repeater hit ctrl d go to the repeater two transform repeater two let's make this position on x axis should be zero and on y axis i'm going to increase the size and this time we don't need much more we i think 50 is enough okay now let's go to the main animation and let's go to at this point and again i'm going to take a distance of five five frames and let's go over here hit ctrl zero and this time i'm going to bring my line composition over here and let's move this over here i'll select this new logo hit ctrl d i'll hit enter and i'll call it as mask and i'll bring this over here i'm going to change the color of this one to lavender or something or even you can choose yellow because it's visible easily and let's move this over here and choose alpha mask you can press f4 to uh, enable your track mat so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff then after that I'm going to select this and I'll hit Ctrl D again. And again, I'm going to take a distance of five frames over here. And let's move this over here. 
like that select this layer of lines and let's apply tint effect on it and let's swap this colors okay after that uh, let's select this two layers and hit ctrl d again and bring this at the top this four layers and let's try to bring this over here and after that i'm going to select this lines layers and i'll hit ctrl 0 and i'm going to select this circle layer and by holding alt i'm going to bring them at the top so it will replace them so we are getting this and after that i'm going to select this mask and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll enable this and i'm going to call it as final logo and at 15 frames i'm going to bring this over here so now if i play this animation from the start as you guys can see we are getting this kind of revision effect okay then i'm going to select all of them and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo then i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll press s for scaling option i'll unlink this and we will make this minus 100 then press p for position and let's bring this downwards like that so so this is going to be obviously the reflection then you can select this and you can press f4 and convert this layer into 3d press r for rotation and let's rotate it on this axis like that over here and let's try to bring this a little bit over here press t for opacity and let's decrease this opacity okay so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of animation now i'm going to press ctrl n and i'll call it as fractal press ctrl y go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and double click to apply and increase the contrast and decrease the brightness and go to the transform properties unlink this decrease this increase the scale width and decrease the scale height and let's make this scale width to around 2000 and scale height to 5 let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and bring this fractal over here and let's hide this now i'm going to select this 3d layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and double click to apply and we are going to choose fractal okay and as you guys can see we are getting this kind of pattern but if you want you can increase this lines like that also you can increase the brightness as well so you will get something like that you can decrease increase this opacity as well so you will get this kind of structure okay so if you see this now we are getting this kind of pattern now you can select this fractal noise you can alt click on this evolution tab and you can search for time star to somewhere around 300 so we will get this kind of animation and over here as well we will get that animation now after that simply right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and double click to apply let's increase the glow threshold to 90 glow radius to 100 and glow intensity to 0.5 or let's say 0.2 okay so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of effect over here okay so this is how you will get this kind of logo reveal animation now there should be some zoom in zoom out effects so for that right click new and create one null object select all of these layers except for this adjustment layer i'm going to pick it apparent with this null select this null press s and create one keyframe and when this animation is going to get end somewhere around 7 second i'm going to make this 85 and hit n okay so we will get something like this so we will get this kind of animation now there should be some wiggle effects so simply press p alt click on the stopwatch and apply for wiggle effect and let's type 3 comma 3 okay so along with this animation you will get some wiggle effect as well so this is how you can create any kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects with the help of adobe illustrator